Hey there, Matt here for Confident Builder. In this video, we're taking a look again at SketchUp and we are doing smart grouping. All right, thanks for joining me here on my desktop. And as you can see, what I have in front of me is our house or my house that I'm working on. No, I'm not an architect, but I am doing everything I can to design a very nice effective house or efficient, whatever word you want to use. What we're learning in this video is uh, effective grouping. That's probably why I use the word uh, effective. Now, what I mean by effective grouping is I learned this from a friend of mine from Tucker over at Area Homes. And what's really nice about this is we always have access to our tags as I bring that on screen. Actually, let me zoom in here and then grab those tags and bring them on screen. So the tags that I have here, and there's probably a little uh, bug here on the Macintosh that won't uh, zoom it out, but it's no big deal. We, we aren't too worried about that. Our tags always allow us to hide and show things, but there's a much better way of hiding and showing things when it comes to groups. So you can see right here, I've got uh, a floor zero, I've got a floor one, I've got my floor levels, and of course I could turn off uh, my level three, my roof right there, I could turn off my... But going in and out of these levels or in the tags and using the tags for visibility isn't quite as effective as using groups and then using the regular standard hide command. So in this whole video, we're not taking a look at using tags for the purpose of visibility. What we're going to do is we are going to use uh, uh, Sketch's stand, SketchUp standard hide command. So, and that's within the context of a group. So look at what happens when I select my roof structure. I get this really nice large bounding box. I'll select the middle floor. So there we've got the middle floor and then we've got this bottom floor right here or this uh, first main floor. And then down at the bottom, I've got a basement. Now, if you notice, each of these are grouped together. Now we're using groups within SketchUp within your model is oh so efficient and necessary. And here's why it's necessary. When we select a given item, in fact, let's just, I'm going to draw any old regular thing. I'm going to draw a rectangle right here and show you what we're actually talking about here. We'll zoom in on this rectangle. And by default, this rectangle comes out as ungrouped geometry. It is what's called raw geometry. Now, what's important to know about this as I select uh, the edge or I select two edges and the middle by drawing a marquee around them is the fact that we can right click on anything in SketchUp. So if I select this face and I right click on this, you notice that we get this hide option right here. Now, the very critical part to this whole solution is assigning a key to your hide option. You wanna be able to do that on the keyboard or in particular, I'm using a mouse that has buttons on the side and so I have hide assigned to one of those buttons. If you're interested, I've got a whole nother video about using a, a mouse in order to do this. So what we can do is if we double click or triple click this and then we choose to group this with the group option, when we group it, we are now able to, of course, I mean, it makes sense, we can hide the whole thing. But the cool thing about this, and what I have is there's an option that we find up here under the unhide. Let's look at that. We've got unhide, and you can unhide all right there. So we're using hide. We've got a keyboard shortcut is set to that. We've got unhide. And then there's also another option, which is hide rest of model. So with those three, what we can do is I bring this back. I just unhid everything right there with a key in order to bring that back. Now let's see where it applies to our model in terms of how I've, you know, how good of a job I've done. So if I select and I want to see my second floor, I can just hide this whole group and I can now see my second floor. If I need to see this floor, the first floor, I just select that one and I hide it. So that was two quick key clicks which will be directly analogous to going over to the tags panel and selecting on hiding a tag. But of course, I don't have a keyboard shortcut for each of the individual tags. So this is where, because you're using the whole of the group, it actually works really well. Now it goes beyond this in terms of power. Let me bring everything back right there with one simple key command. 
What's really nice about the way that SketchUp works is when you are within context, meaning within a given group, the hide only applies to the things within that group. It's really pretty cool. So watch this. I'm going to go into my roof. And so right now I've got a, a key that has been used that says hide rest of model. I can actually turn that on and off with a key. So that's just a key command right there that is hide or un, show or hide rest of model. So you want to assign a keyboard shortcut for that in preferences. So let's hide that. But let's say for existence, for, for example, I want to take a look at something inside my roof. In fact, I've got an attic as part of this. Well, you'll notice that when I select on things within this one big group, I have subgroups. So this back area right here, this particular item, my shed dormer is a group, this is a group, and then my main roof is a group. And of course, over here on this other side, I've got this as a group. Now, what makes this nice is if you go and drill down into a group within a group within a group, that hide command only applies within the context of the current group. So watch this. I'll go select this group, double click. I'm in this group now, and now I'm able to select raw geometry. That is the one side of the face of the roof. So if I hide just that side, and now I back out of that group, Notice that we're going to see the remaining parts that are within that. Notice how this, this attic area thing, this didn't, it was not showing when I was drilled into that group because, let's do it again, I'm going to drill into the, this group. It's not hiding because it's not part of this group, and I'm not showing rest of model. I could show the rest of model by turning that on, but notice that in this group, if I back out of this group by hitting the escape key or clicking anywhere outside of the actual group, I'm now able to see everything, but guess what? That hide only applies within the context of that particular group. So in other words, if I back all the way out, and if I simply, let's say I hid everything that's over here, let's just select a bunch of stuff, we'll hide that, and now I'm going to use the unhide command, or the unhide keyboard shortcut. There, those things just came back right there, but what did not come back? Well, it was that face within that room roof. Because in order to get that back, I would have to drill down into that group in order to get the unhide command to actually abide by that. So that's what makes this really cool. No tags, nothing. It is just smart grouping of how you group things. And when it comes to building a house or designing a house, Doing things by levels just makes sense. And if you start to think about it, um, cabinets, you know, the doors can be a group within a group of the whole of the cabinet. And that way you can hide just the doors and unhide them and see everything. That's what is effective grouping. You need to get something uh, back in. You, of course, can use the outliner. Let's see, I'll, brag, I'll bring that online. Let me detach everything. So we've got the outliner right here, which if I double click, we can always go to a particular group or object by simply selecting that. But of course, when you are simply selected on something, it will highlight. So we can see right here, I go in this group and then I'll select this and somewhere on there, if I scroll, it would actually show me the group. But you know, for me, once you've got these smaller groups within larger groups, it's really no big deal to just drill down. So I'll double click again, I'll click my unhide, it'll bring my face back, I'll back out two times, and I'm gonna be back to my model. And that's how easy it is. That is smart grouping. I hope this helps you out with your own SketchUp development, and I'll catch you in the next video. See you later.